Okay, today we're going to do a, a custom customization of a standard install. We're not going to download anything. It's just uh, just a, a, a pimping of uh, XFCE. X -F -C -E. uh, here I'm using Linux Mint 15 XFCE. All I've done is make sure that the system is up to date. Okay, and I need to add a home icon here. Close, and we can see that if I hover over it, it brings up a, a, an information or a warning. Okay, all right. First thing I'm going to do is right click on the on the cog icon, click properties, right uh, click on the icon again. And I'm going to change this so I go to share, go down to user. No, it's got a Linux Mint <laughs> common artwork uh, logos, and then I'm going to choose any one of these three. I'm going to choose 32 for this. Click OK, and we can see the logo has changed. Click Close. Okay, now we're going to uh, change the panel. We'll go to Panel Preferences. Right click on the Panel, Panel Preferences, and tick Lock Panel. You see the handles there, click on them and drag it up to the top, and then lock the panel again. Okay, change the row size here, so this is going to be uh, up around about 30, and uh, it makes it look a little bit more visible on a big desktop. Uh, appearance, I'm going to change the alpha down to around about 30-ish. And the leave uh, down to oh, a little bit here, see? And um, what that does, it makes the uh, the menu bar, or task bar, in, in more transparent. Okay, click close. Uh, we go onto the task bar, and we can see our items pop up and become more visible. Okay, right click on the clock, properties. And then we're going to change uh, time to time and date. Change the size of the uh, date font down to about six. Click OK. OK, that's a little better. And you can change the format as well if you wanted to. OK. So now. Uh, Let's go back to the panel. I could add an item through here, but I'm going to go into panel preferences, items, and these are the items that are there. So I'm going to click add, and I'm going to click on action button, click add, then close that. Okay, and you can see that a new button has appeared with your username on it. Click on this down here and then click uh, edit and um, you can see that there's nothing visible on there. If I untick anything nothing happens until I switch on action buttons. Okay and then you can see that the buttons uh, are there. Uh, lock, switch user. So if I untick them the buttons disappear and the separators. So what I want to do, I want a set shutdown button. So I untick everything else, just leaving the shutdown. Click close. That makes that action button a shutdown button. Click close again. Now if I go up to that button, click on the button, and it starts the shutdown. Okay. Click cancel, and then in the whisper menu, or whisker menu, uh, the uh, log out, restart, shutdown, hibernate is still there, available for you. Okay, if we start a terminal, right click, click on preferences, uh, click on appearance, and then change the transparency down to 60 to 65. Okay, 65 is better. Okay, so it's made it transparent. Okay, X that off. Uh, now the um, 
if we go to systems manager and we go down to sessions and startup these are the the items that automatically start first of all when you boot up so i'm going to turn off bluetooth because i don't use it uh, mint upload because i don't use it the mint welcome because i don't want it power manager if you're using the laptop you need to leave that ticked otherwise un untick it so anything that you don't don't need uh, you can untick click close Uh, all set in, sorry, and then we're going to go to uh, we're going to uh, change the way Windows works a little bit. Oh, the Windows, not Windows, I should say, the desktop. Look, if you sh if you will. Okay, so uh, I'm going to change this uh, decoration, and that's the top bar with the X on, so that you can uh, see that this top bar is more transparent okay that bar there okay I'm turn it down a little bit more okay now uh, inactive windows if i turn that down they fade into the background a bit more uh windows movement when you're moving uh and resize uh pop-up windows you don't want to make too uh too transparent because they they are your menu window uh, menu pop-ups yeah okay X that off as you can see it's transparent when it's moving click close there okay as you can see you've got this pop-up we want to get rid of that so click on your home click in the home area then control h to bring up your hidden files and you need to look for dot gtkrc-2.0 and then we're going to add a line okay so i'll go to the end of the line press enter and then we're going to add this then okay gtk dash enable tool dash tool tips space equals space zero and it's the zero that turns the tool tips off okay so this command turns the tool tips off so that's the, the pop-up okay so you click save so we've saved that file and we can right click control h again to get rid of our hidden files well, not to display them okay and uh, what do we need to do next okay uh, and we add in items to the desktop so we add the icon by right clicking on it and then we double click it and it says mark ex executable so you click that well, it takes a little while to get it to start and you can see it's not active until I click on it and then the transparency disappears okay so the next time I start it it will load up a lot quicker as you can see okay uh, right so if we right click on the desktop go to desktop settings and uh, we could change menus, we can change icons, change the size of icons, whatever we want to do. But I want to change the background here. So if I click on one of the the, uh, the photos, it automatically changes the desktop. Click on that one, the desktop changes. Click close, and that is the desktop that will stay there. That's the picture that will stay on the desktop. Okay, right click desktop, desktop settings, and I want to make a list of them. And I want the... the more people to change automatically click image list then click plus final system user usr share and then we need to go to backgrounds so go down to backgrounds 
Then we click on backgrounds, then we click on Mint Olivia, and you can see we've got two files which are odd color, that they are purple color, they are PNG files, okay? Now we don't want to use the PNG files, they are the standard Mint wallpaper. Control A to add them all, and then con uh, Control and click on the ones that you don't want. This brings up a list. Now then, uh, if I just leave it like this, with this unticked, uh, the wallpaper will only change every time you log on. If I tick it, I can change the wallpaper every 30 minutes or every one minute or whatever you want. Okay, so we'll click close. Uh, let's so, see. These these are the uh, the wallpapers that will pop uh, that will change automatically for us now. Okay, click close, and then I need to restart the computer for these uh, these things to change the wallpapers and the pop up. You need a restart. Okay, restart. Go to your user. Click on your user or press up. Put in your password. Click. OK or press enter and you log in and we can see that we've got a new wallpaper up. The pop-ups have disappeared and our taskbar is transparent. OK. We've got a power button, we've changed the clock and uh, this is all done without downloading anything. This is a standard install. We can customize a standard XFCE install to make it a, look a little bit better. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.